my grandparents, great great grandparents, they are tribal kings here. He was a tribal king here. All landed down from one tribal king to another tribal king. That was a big influence on me as I was watching my grandma grow up. Like, here being a leader of a tribe, here in this beautiful place called Yarraba, it's like overwhelming to be in that line of descendant. There are some things that when you're sleeping with your grandparents, like they tell you stories, you'll go off to sleep, but you'll never forget. And that's the identity that we were losing for these last five, nine or 10 years. We started to drift away from what the tribal people were trying to tell us. Now, the elders were trying to tell us that never lose your identity. We can look back at the past and make sure it doesn't come back around to warn us where, where we went wrong. And that's the sort of a vision I have for like, my community and my tribal people. Before when the ancestors were, thing, it was just one big tribe, a Kunganji tribe. Now we have three clans. To be old and to become one, we must pull together and unite as one. We've got to leave everything behind us. The ugliness of being different. At the end of the day, we all come under one banner, and that's Kunganji, Kunganji people. I started working with my dad when I was 17 years of age. Seeing them at a work, at a got together, group group. Everything they'd done was for the community. That gradually sunk in to me, and ever since I was growing up, I took another role in the, role in the workplace. Some of us young fellas, we were, we think we can take and not give. Some of us girls, we think we can give and not take. It should be vice versa. We should give, give, give and not receive. If we have enough, give. Be honest within yourself. Look up at the skies. If you know you've done something wrong, if you know that something has to be fixed, look up at the sky and ask for help. And being a leader coming in underneath a big banner from the Angie people, that was a thrill. Put shivers down my spine, even though it was hot. Hitting this beach here and doing a crawberry welcome dance. Nothing better than a Saturday, even though it was hot. Put your people first, and your family, friends, and put yourself last. And that's the role I see myself as playing from here on in.